Hello guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be solving this problem here. Okay, so to start solving, let's see this term inside the brackets here, right? This term here, I'm going to say that this is y. Because if you put a variable here, it's going to look something like this one here. So I'm going to say this is y. So since this is y, I'm going to rewrite the second, the, the original expression is 1 minus 1986 y square, which is this one. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to subtract uh, side by side. I'm going to say y minus x here. And then we have this. And then after multiplying by negative, t negative, negative, by the negative sign here, we're going to have this. Now 1 minus 1 is 0. And now, well, I'm just going to write um, this expression minus this. Why? Well, I just organize in terms of x. And then we have this. And then factoring out 1986, we have x squared minus y squared, which is perfectly good for work, for the solution of this problem, right? So now from here, we have this because this is a difference of two squares. And then I'm going to send everything to the left side. And then we have this. And since this, I'm going to have this, right? Just writing putting this in bracket and put in yellow just to say that these terms are the same um, and then I'm gonna factor out x minus y so we have this this means that from here we have x minus y is equal to zero and the other expression is also equals to zero and then from here after making some simplifications I'm going to isolate y here so x is equal to y which means that x y is equal to x and here isolating y we have this one here okay cool Remember from our substitution, right? From the original equation, we have this one here. And then I'm gonna pick the first the first equation. You can pick the second one, but I'm gonna pick the first one. And then I'm gonna have this. And in this equation, I'm going to to replace the value of y here, right? So we're gonna have then this. Where I has I had y here, I'm gonna put x, and here y again, I'm gonna put x, right? So sending all the terms to the left side of the equ equation and making some simplification in the second equation we're gonna uh, I mean okay let's let's do it slowly so this one here comes to the left side positive one times negative and we have already x here and then from here we have this one here minus this one here what we already have and then this one here is a positive and then minus one and then from here we have these two quadratic equations so these these are quadratic equation pretty simple to solve but the pro the, the, the purpose of this YouTube uh, of this of, of this channel is to solve problem right we, we don't want to skip uh, steps so from here we have this right so th this is the same thing I just put the first one in in and the second one in different colors so let's say for the first one we have a equals 1986 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 1 and for the second one we have a equals to 1986 and b is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to negative 1985 over 1986 um, okay so applying the quadratic formula in, in in both of these equations so starting from the first one we're going to have this x is equal to negative 1, which is minus b, plus or minus b squared, minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, doing the same thing for the second equation, we have this one here. Okay, so you know that we're going to cancel this one and this one here, right? Okay, getting back to, to the equation in, yellow, in, in blue, we're going to have this one here. So the product of these terms is going to be this. And here, after some simplifications, we're going to have this. So this is going to be 49.45, and this is going to be, sorry, this is going to be 79.45, and this is going to be 79.41, okay? And then we have this, right? This is our, this is our, uh, these are our equations, and these are the solution that we got. And then from the, from the, this one here, we're going to have x1 equals to this, right? And x2 is equal to this one. And from here, we have that our x3 is equal to this and our x4 is equal to this. So we have four solutions for our original equation. Now let's do something crazy. Okay, let's check with one of these solutions. We can, you can pick whatever you want, but I'm just going to pick the first one here. So this is our original equation. And the first solution is this. So 
we're going to have then this one here, right? So this is x, which is this one, equals to 1 minus this one here, 1 minus this one here, and then minus, and then times uh, x squared, which is this one squared. And then from here, we're going to have this, right? Just focus on the, on the terms in, in blue. I'm, I'm going to explain later why I, I left this one in yellow, okay? So, um, taking to the power of 2, this one here, we're going to have this, okay? And then I'm going to add up these two, we're going to have this. And then I can simplify this by 2. We're going to have 2 times this divided by this. This term here is equal to this. And then we're going to simplify this 2 times this and uh, ta divide and this one here and two here and then we're gonna have just this one here because we're gonna just uh, end up with two times this one here which is this one here and then the common denominator here this is gonna be 3972 minus 3973 and then we're gonna have negative one here and then this is gonna be a plus and then this is what we got okay just remember that from here, you see this whole expression, this whole expression here is this expression inside of this bracket, right? And this whole expression inside of this bracket is going to bring us to this, okay? So this means that, uh, I'm pretty sorry, I shouldn't have... <laughs> I don't know why I, wrote, I just wrote this part here. I think it was a mistake. Uh, okay, but just ignore this step here. This means from here that if we solve this whole thing here, we're going to end up with this thing here. And this one here is the value of x. So we can say that this one here is equal to this. So the solution is perfectly correct. So thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comment uh, what I can do to improve my videos and uh, for more engagement and help me uh, drop in a comment and liking the video so that you YouTube can send this video to more people who love math. Thank you very much. See you next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.